now that we got a whole lot of 2x8 material cut, we can go ahead and start our plating. So as plating is all about making sure that you have a bottom plate and a top plate ready to go for your walls. And this is one of the first steps in framing a wall. So what you want to do is make sure that we have our plates flush on one end, flush with the whole outside, and then we can mark these to length and we can go cut them on the scroll saw, or if you're working at home, uh, you can have these snips again, and we can cut those. Okay. So once these are down, we can just put them in place, leave them alone. We don't wanna glue them down, we don't wanna glue them together. Remember, this is your top and bottom plate, so we're gonna have a whole lot of studs going in between there. Um, and uh, gluing them together would defeat that purpose. So again, we want to be flush with the end of your wall. We want to be flush with the outside of your wall. And then we're going to mark these two to length, and we can cut them down to size. Uh, then we're going to do the same thing for our two side walls. Typically builders will like to do their two big end walls first in full length and then sandwich their two side walls in between. So this one's a little tricky because you do need to make sure that the boards, uh, the plates that you already cut are flush with the outside walls. Otherwise, when you go to cut these, they might be a little too long or a little too short. So three of my four walls now have a bottom plate and a top plate. We'll get this last one done. There we have it. We have a top and bottom plate going around our entire structure. Everything is flush with the exterior walls, uh, or I should say the subfloor, and uh, we're ready to start laying out where our studs go and making our studs. Here we have our, our plates that we recently laid out for our wall frame. Now we get to mark out our 16 inches on center. So. Let's show you how that's going to work. We're building in the one half inch is equal to one foot scale. And so we're going to start on one end of our plate. And here's what gets a little tricky is when we were doing this for our floors, we ended up spacing our joist every two feet. Uh, which was very easy to mark out. We'd start on one end at zero, we'd mark out two, four, six, and so on. When we are doing 16 on center, it is just not that easy. We have one foot, we have two foot, we know this is 12 inches, we know this is 24, uh, but there's zero marks in between to tell us where 16 is. So we're not gonna be able to use that. What we need to do is use the 12 inches from our first foot and then mark off where four additional inches is to get us to 16. So let's take a look at that real quick. Remember that each one of our little lines is representing one half inch in this one half inch is equal to one foot scale. So what we would need to do is count off eight additional lines. So if we started from here and worked to the zero, we're at 12, and then we would count off 12 and a half, 13, 13 and a half, 14, 14 and a half, 15, 15 and a half, 16. We are looking on this particular scale at the second long line for our 16 inches. So here to our first foot. So let's start laying that out. 
although it doesn't need to be marked, you're always going to have a stud on the very end. Okay, from there, if we lay this out, we're going to mark, make a mark at our 16. Then we're going to slide our scale, or we're going to slide our board to that mark that we just made, and we're going to make another mark at a 16. And then we're going to slide it again, and we're going to make another mark at our 16. Now we're going to continue this all the way down our entire plate. And we're going to make sure that our marks are very clean and very accurate all the way down because it is that important. Now, how we would frame this out for a real building would be slightly different. We would put a couple marks down to show where the stud is going to go uh, in between. And for an advanced activity, you can ask me for a full length two by four uh, and a real tape measure, and we can have you laying out an actual wall. And I'll show you how that goes. Okay. But what's going to happen here is we're just going to keep doing this. We're going to keep marking out every 16 inches. And because we space our studs every 16 on center, when we place our studs, we're going to put them right in the middle of where these lines are. And we're going to keep doing that the entire way down. Now, the tricky thing is, is every single top and bottom plate that we do is going to need these marks on it. So laying this out on eight plates for all your walls is going to take you quite a bit of time. But if you do it accurately the first time, you only have to do it once. Because what we're going to do is we're going to line up the two plates, and then we're just simply going to transfer those lines over to make sure everything is nice and even. And as you can see, I'm not going all the way over. If you do, that's fine. But we just need enough where we can see the line so we can mark it out all the way down. So you're going to take some time. You're going to mark out your 16 on center. You're going to transfer those lines to all of your plates. And then we are ready to start putting in our studs.